It's time for another good idea, bad idea, good idea, using coffee to get through your day. idea using video games to get through your day. Welcome back to Smart Families. My name is Aaron. I'm the Director of Youth Ministry here at New Life Church. And I'm the Director of the Children's Program at New Life. We hope that last week you were able to have good conversations with your family and your kids about the use of technology. This Sunday we're going to be talking about being addicted to technology and how we can become dependent on technology. As we saw in the video, we use different things to get through the stresses of our day. And yet, becoming dependent on something can be concerning. And while coffee might not be the worst thing in the world to become addicted to, both Chris and I, working with children and preteens and teenagers, we've seen the negative effects that technology can have when you become dependent on it, especially in a young person's life. So we wanna provide you with some advice as to what appropriate screen time is for different age groups. The Children's Health Network recommends that no screen time should be available to children under the age of two years old because their brains are still developing. Mm -hmm. Next, there should be one hour of maximum screen time for children under the age of five. And whatever they have on their screen should be uh, not including any type of violence. Last, there should be two hours of recreational screen time for kids ages five all the way up to age 18. Two hours max of recreational screen time. And that's in addition to what they're getting at school because we know that they have computers and iPads and things like that at school. So when they come home and they wanna go on their technology, it's recommended that there's two hours of recreational screen time. If you wanna know more about some of the resources that we, um, that we got from, uh, from this, go to screensmart.ca. Chris? Aaron? We want you to consider looking at a 24 hour day in the life of your family and how much technology that you are using. Consider the amount of screen time that family uses and how important it is to your li daily life and how consuming it is to your daily life. What is the need that technology is filling? And consider reducing screen time by not just taking away the online activities, especially your kids' favorite activities, but consider replacing it with healthy opportunities and healthy activities that the, your child can do on their own or as a family. The other thing is, where is the technology placed in your house? Can you see the screen that your child is on? Do they have data on their phones? And are they having access to that phone outside of your monitoring? We want, you know, providing access to the internet and technology is a journey. And you take this with your child. So we want you to keep those lines of communication open as your child grows and matures. Remember that Monday, February 20th is Family Day here in Ontario. And we want to offer you a challenge. Whether you're part of New Life or whether you're just checking this out, here's our challenge for you. Unplug for the day. Leave your devices at home, turn your iPad off, turn your computer off, leave your phones at home, 
and go out and spend family day without your devices. Then on Tuesday, we want you to ha hop back on social media because we know that you're gonna be on it and let us know how you spent your day and what it was like to unplug. We've also created the hashtag, the unplug challenge, which is gonna be somewhere on the screen. And we just want you to share your stories about what you did during family day and what it was like to not have the, the, the use of technology in the way of how you're gonna spend your day. For Smart Families, I'm Aaron. And I'm Chris. We'll see you next week.